Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christus Word, Truth Me and Sicilian. Shalom to the Akin, scattered to the four corners of the globe, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akin, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas word, truthfully, safely, strongly, and sincerely. And I say Shalom to y'all, and the title of this lesson is going to be Folly is Set in Great Dignity. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low places right because you know the reason why I brought out this uh, title of this lesson the introduction I just uh, brought in you know uh, was about I say about this uh, milk cart crate challenge I've been seeing for the past few days you know you got Israelites out here doing the milk cart crate challenge you know this is straight folly you know, because you can, you know, I laughed at it, but, but all seriousness aside, though, you know, you're doing these milk crate cart challenges, you know, you're doing this thing, you can accident, accidentally really hurt yourself doing these things, you know. This is what you call straight folly right here. You know, Jake doing all this uh, milk cake, milk crate cart challenge stuff. And they don't know what's really going on in the world. You know, serious things are going around, are happening around the world and around them as well, too. You know, Jake is so much in that docile mode, you know, always, you know, play all the time, always, you know, think everything is a joke and all that. You know, Jake still sleep. Jake still don't know what's really going on. You know, we got these wars and rumors of wars going on. You know, you got uproars of the people that's going on, you know. You know, we got these lockdowns that's going to happen for the second or third time, you know. You know, you got these class wars, you know, food shortages, you know, famine, pestilence, and all these things. All these floodings, earthquakes in diverse places, heavy storms and floodings. You know, Jake, look at all these things that's going on around the world and around the inner circle as well, too. You know, and Jake still sleep, don't even know, don't even have a clue and don't even care to have a clue of what's going on. You know, that's why it says uh, the Heavenly Father put a... Uh, uh, sleep, a heavy blind fall on the children of Israel, especially the children of Israel that still they don't know that they Israel, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and the speckled birds, uh, Israelites as well too, you know, still don't know what's going on in the world, you know, they still on a folly mode, you know, that's that late, that late summertime folly mode, <laughs> you know, the milk cart crate challenge. You know, I don't know why would anybody even do this type of challenge. Because, you know, you will seriously hurt yourself. Especially you, especially you a, a, a young adult or older adult male as well, too. Especially an Israelite adult male. You know, this trend that's going on, you know, you can accidentally extremely hurt yourself. And what if you flip over a crate, you know, mess yourself up, you know. You know, yeah, like they just said, that milk car crate challenge is stupid. You know, you can flip over, might break your neck, might break your back, might break your leg, might break your arm or anything. That's why this milk cart challenge is folly and set date, folly and set great dignity. And I'm gonna bring it out again for edification's sake. You know, Jake doing all these folly things in the world, you don't even know. Yeah, it's more important things than do some folly crate challenge, you know, because, you know, you can it hurt yourself. This this challenge and this trending challenge is extremely dangerous. You know, Jake shouldn't be doing these things in the world. These are nothing but heavy distractions for what's really important that's really going on in the world today. Because, you know, two thirds of Israel, you know, they don't even know what's really going on in the world, you know. 
and I'm gonna bring it again for edification's sake. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places, because the rich are the Israelites. You know, we might not be rich financially, but we are rich in the spirit to know these things, to know these prophecies, and know who we are, that we are the true children of Israel, the true sons of Jacob, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, starting with the, uh, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. We are the true servants, the true prophets of the men of the Lord that's out there doing the work and the will, the work of the Lord with the grace and mercy and power of Yahweh, Yahweh, you know, out there on the highways and byways to, uh, to wake up the elect that's sincere in this truth, you know, not the Jake's, the two thirds of Israel of this world that's still on that folly mode and don't even know what's real going on, you know? So yeah, uh, I'm gonna bring out another scripture to close it out. I believe that's in the book of Proverbs. Salak here for a second. Yeah, here it goes right here. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. How long ye simple one ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorn and fools hate knowledge. Right. Especially you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites that makes up the true lost sheep of the house of Israel. You are the true children of Israel, according to the Holy Scriptures. You know, the Most High is telling you how ye simple one, how ye, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity. You know, folly like this, that milk cart creek challenge. You know, you might uh, badly injure yourself. You know, why would you do this crazy trend, you know, this crazy trend is, is ridiculous, you know. I mean, yeah, I might have, yeah, we might have a laugh laugh or two <laughs> because of the folly what Jake doing. But all seriousness aside, though, you know, I mean, this, you know, you can really hurt yourself doing this milk cart crate challenge, you know. <clears throat> you know, and that's why, um, you know, you're doing all this uh, folly challenge, you know. That's, that's what you call simplicity, you know, and fools hate knowledge, you know, the true children of Israel, that's of the world, that they still don't know that they are the true children of, of the Most High, you know, they hate knowledge, you know, they'd rather learn the ways of this world rather than learn the ways of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorant call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father's true son, name is Yahweh Shai, you know, you will continue to love simplicity. Like the Heavenly Father said, how long we love simplicity, you know? It's better to come back to knowing who you are. You know, at least try to acknowledge that you are the true children of Israel according to the Holy Scriptures. Get back into the good graces of the Heavenly Father because the door of repentance is very closing. And we're seeing it right now, the door of repentance is very much closing, you know? Because all these uh, prophecies unfolding, you know, second war is past, third war coming quickly, you know, famine, pestilence, you know, Jake don't even consider all these things of what's about to come, but Jake, them still on a folly mode, still on that milk cart crate challenge, and that you keep on continuing to do that, you might, you might seriously injure yourself, seriously hurt yourself, and then you be looking at the hospital looking stupid, doing for uh, such folly folly nonsense stuff like that you know so um other than that i didn't want to do this lesson too long it was on my mind and spirit you know since i was looking at this milk cart crate challenge for the last two days <laughs> this you know folly folly said in the great dignity <laughs> as i made this as the title of my introduction to my video got to sit down and listen and i hope this for edification's sake you know like it's like, hey, like it says, folly and straight dick. This is milk cart crate challenge, straight folly. But other than that, 
hope this is edifying through the spirit of power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh And first and foremost, I like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Merkakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And salutations to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And salutations. And Shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say Shalom. And once again, for the new listeners out there who are the true Israelites according to the biblical scriptures, which is our the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. And the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorant call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. That's the Heavenly Father's true name is Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, as well, too. Until next time, I will say Shalom and the ball, ball, ball.